this video, I'm going to show you what separates the Monza Deluxe Super Automatic by Quick Mill from all the other home Super Automatic machines on the market. Let's start with the features on the outside of the machine. A bean hopper that is easy to fill. The bean hopper has a sliding trap door at the base, so it is easy to remove when you want to change your beans. The cup warming tray that is large enough to keep an assortment of cups warm and ready. An easy to read LED display which shows your steam boiler and brew group temperatures. A digital touchpad. Each button has a different function. The top button is the power menu. Hold the button in until the display reads programming, then release it. You now have access to the menu function to customize your settings. The button also serves as a decaf button. Hold it in until the display reads decaffeinated. You can open the door and fill the brew chamber with your pre-ground coffee. The short shot espresso button and the tall shot espresso button. The short shot can be programmed as a single shot or a ristretto, the tall for a double shot. The hot water button, when pushed, will dispense hot water from the boiler through the steam wand. The steam button gives you direct steam through the wand. Last, there is the milk frother button. This will activate the auto frother which is located on the side of the machine. Simply place the silicone tube into your pitcher of milk and press the button. No burn articulating steam wand. The steam wand has nice steam pressure and a four hole tip to produce great microfoam. The cup pedestal for your espresso cup is removable for a larger cup. The drip tray is easy to remove and clean. Large 3 liter water reservoir. The Mons is protected by a low water sensor to alert you to fill the water reservoir. Large grounds drawer for easy access and cleaning. This is programmable to let you know when to empty it. Last is the Monza platform. The platform raises the machine above the counter and makes it easy to clean underneath. It's also used for those who wish to connect the drain kit into the drip tray. Both the platform and the drain kit are optional accessories. On the back of the machine is where you will find the main power switch and power cord receptacle to the machine. You will also find the water source switch where you can select if you want the water to be taken from the water line or from the water reservoir. Also in the back is a direct connect fitting to hook your water line to. A direct connect kit is an optional accessory. Now let's take a look at the inside of the machine. The grinder adjustment is accessed here and is easy to reach. You turn the knob clockwise for a finer grind, turn the knob counterclockwise if you want it to be coarser. Near the grinder adjustment is a chute where the ground coffee comes down with a lap so you can lift it for easy access for cleaning. The milk frother is located here and can be pulled apart for easy cleaning. This is the piston assembly that goes up and down to tamp the coffee and pushes the pressurized water through the ground coffee. Brew chamber is where the ground coffee from the grinder or pre-ground coffee for decaf goes for brewing. The Monza has a metal heated brew group, not plastic, giving it great thermal stability. This feature is adjustable from the touchpad. Some of the other programmable features of the Monza are pre-infusion from 0 to 4 seconds, a 7-day timer, auto shutoff, an LED display with 5 color options, extensive component protection with seven accessible fuses, as well as thermal protection for the pump, grinder, and heater. Now, let's brew some coffee and steam some milk and show you how well the Monza Deluxe performs.